took a look at this tablet or the line of tablets at the Samsung Galaxy Tab Premier event about a week and a half ago in New York City. We had hands-on of both of the tablets, the 8.4 and also the 10.5. Now this is the 10.5, we finally got a review unit here. Uh, this is a very exciting tablet from Samsung. Why? Because, well, it's the world's first with a Super AMOLED display. The same technology that you find on the Samsung Galaxy S5, the Note 3, basically all the mobile devices. Now the technology is porting over to the Samsung Galaxy Tab line, and this is the world thinnest tablet from Samsung at 6.6 .6 millimeters. That is insanely thin for a tablet and there's tons of specs. Now the closest kin on Samsung's own blood here and guess what BV Samsung, uh, this is the Note Pro 12.2. It's a really powerful tablet, also the same specs, nearly the same specs as the Tab S. We have a octa-core configuration, three gigabytes of RAM, and the 2560 by 1600 display resolution. But obviously the biggest difference is this is a super IPS display, not a super AMOLED. So that would be the biggest difference between those two and it is a chunkier and heavier tablet. This is the thinnest and lightest tablet as I said again. We'll go ahead and open the box here. They sent us the, uh, I guess it's kind of a grayish color, but still a very decent looking color and also has a gold accent. So that would be the coolest thing. And wow, this is, a, again, this is a thin tablet, guys. It's insanely, insanely thin. Thin. That's how that's how small this tablet is, and it doesn't even weigh nearly about 0.8 pounds. So it's quite lightweight as well. Uh, closest size, I guess, would be the iPad Air. You guys can see the size difference there. I know the frame is kind of too tight there, uh, and then thickness-wise, the Galaxy Tab S would be, or the Galaxy Tab S would be a much thinner device. So uh, let's go ahead and just put this aside here and look what else comes in this box. I want to give a quick shout out to Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like this for use in our OnePod Bandit giveaway game. So make sure to go check them out. They walk out working at Best Buy Mobile. Uh, we got a micro USB charger cable, and then we also have the wall warts, and then this uh, thick tablet or a thick pamphlet of manuals that you'll never read. We'll go ahead and put this stuff back in the box here. And we'll take a look back at the tablet. Now taking a spin around, starting on the left side here, we have one of the first of the stereo speakers here, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the top of this device, we're gonna have the power switch here. We have the volume rocker, and then we have an IR blaster for your ultra humongous uh, TV for your smart TV, if you have a Samsung smart TV there. And then on the right side, we're gonna have the second stereo speaker, a micro SD card slot. Obviously this is a Wi-Fi only model. They will have LTE models later available this year, uh, but not currently, and then the micro USB charger. Now they used USB 2.0, which is a little strange because uh, their new Note Pro tablets have USB 3.0. So they charge a lot quicker because we have a, uh, a second port there and their adapters can support more wattage. This one uses USB 2.0. Not sure why that big difference there, but that's what we have. So we're going to go ahead and boot this guy up, and one thing you could probably already notice here, uh, the gold accenting around the whole trim of this device, even on the home button, this is all basically pampered in gold. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if I like it or not. It looks cool. Um, I think the white one looks a little bit better with the gold. I, I don't know why they don't have any different color schemes for the black one, or I guess this is not really black. It's kind of like a, a brownish gray. Uh, but we'll go ahead and just go through the menu here. And wow, that display does look pretty crisp here. So now the back material is actually pretty dang similar to the Samsung Galaxy S5. I'll see the dimples a little bit more spaced apart than the Galaxy S5. Uh, but we have the Samsung name actually embedded here with the same gold gold coloring. So again, it's pretty pampered in gold here. We have an eight megapixel camera on the back, uh, uh, one single LED flash, and then these two little, uh, I guess, magnet points where the covers will actually attach and I have a couple of them I can show you guys in later videos here. Now back to this display. One, this is really, really, really vibrant. I mean, just looking at this display, the colors are really poppy. They look, I mean, absolutely amazing on this guy. Uh, I can't really wait to look at a video here. So let's go ahead and pull up a video so we can watch and uh, go ahead and add that later here. And obviously we're going to be looking at the La Ferraris because that's what I uh, am known to do here at phonedog.com because I love cars. We're going to go ahead and select that La Ferrari launch video. We'll choose the highest uh, available quality, which is 1080p here. Make sure we selected that here. Yep, there we go.
Yeah, and it looks pretty good. I mean, the colors are pretty vibrant. Uh, oversaturated for sure, but they're really vibrant and they do look really good. Let's go ahead and test out those speakers here. And... Yeah, so that was a pretty good demonstration of how this display looks like. Again, there's going to be tons of more videos.